This is the Heidenhain Positip 880 Advanced Readout. It's a very versatile display. You can use it for milling machines, drilling and boring machines, as well as lathes. As you can see, it shows up to six different axes. You can light up all six, you can light up four, or however many you want. It has a lot of built-in functions to it. It's, it's got programming capabilities, make it ideal for small batch production. Uh, you can store up to 999 program blocks per program in its memory used to create all different kinds of position capturing. The interfaces are RS-232, um, so you can connect it to a PC or to a printer. There even uh, is another option to have an output display if you want to have a remote display, for example, in a different side of the machine. Its inputs, you can put 1 volt peak to peak, older 11 microamp signals, or high 9's new NDAT signal. Uh, basically, the subdividing factor inside is, has a maximum of 1024 fold. It's a color screen, as you can see. It's a flat screen uh, for input displays, graphic functions, graphic positioning, contouring, and then also you have an opportunity to turn it on as a mill or a lathe if you're going to do that. For milling, you have 99 datums, 99 tool offsets. you got built-in calculator for hole patterns, tool radius compensation. You can also put a probe in the back if you want to do like a KT edge finder by Heidenheim. For turning, it has one datum, 99 tools. It also has freezing tool position back off and of course for oversize allowances. Like I said a moment ago, up to 999 program blocks in each program, sub-programming capability, and teach-in programming. For the cycles for milling and drilling, line segments, circular arcs, circular linear hole patterns, rectangular pockets. For turning applications, line segments, circular arcs, and multi-passes. You can also do error compensation for linear and multi-point, up to 128 measuring points. When we go through some of the features, when you turn it on, you'll be able to select different languages. Obviously, it's in English. Right now, I have a Heidenheim small scale attached to it. You can see Y-axis is reading, and you can set the resolution to display up to six places to the right of the decimal. Not only does it do linear, it also does angular motion. Here's a Heidenhain encoder into input axis, uh, axis X for 360 degrees. A lot of information on the bottom. You can do job setup. Here you got table tool. If you can go into there, you can set your different uh, tables for all your tools. Next one is datum tool, display configuration, scaling factor, diameter axis, there's your edge finder, uh, measure value output, the graphic aid position, that is great if you're in lathe mode, stopwatch, uh, units, contour, console adjustment. When you go into install setup down here, it's gonna, you then can get into some more finer parameters. These are going to be password protected. Access configuration, encoder setup, encoder compensation, serial port, parallel port, protection, counter settings, and diagnostics. I want to show you diagnostics real quick. Not only do you have the keypad, display test, voltage, but you also have the encoder signal plot. This is very important, especially if you uh, want to check on the condition of either your linear or rotary encoders. If I go to there, I'm going to have, again, the opportunity to check all six inputs if I'm using them. Right now I have only two, X1 and X2, so I'll go to X1, enter, and it's going to give me what we would call a pseudo oscilloscope. There, you're going to see as I turn the encoder, if you can see on there, there is the oscilloscope. You can see the circle, and it falls within a nice acceptable diagnostic for this encoder. Next, I'm going to exit out of this 
and I'm going to go to input number two and I'm going to look at the linear scale. I'm going to enter that and here is the one volt peak to peak LS 388C. Again you can see the diagnostic on there as well. Exit this and we go back to the previous menu and again and then we exit out of there and you can see on the bottom of, of all the screens a help menu. When you go to help menu you can go to the list of topics and what's really nice is I was in diagnostic mode so it skipped all the way down to diagnostic and it would tell me step by step how to run the diagnostic page. So if you don't have the owner's manual you actually now have it here in the now this is the back side of the PosiTip 880. You can see that you have X1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the inputs. This would be the input for your edge finder. And then your X32, X51, and X31 are for your outputs for either your parallel printer port or RS-232.